Hello, my name is Patricia Getty. I'm an associate professor at Sungingwan University School of Law in Seoul, Korea. The title of my paper is Human Rights of Guantanamo Detainees Under International and U.S. Law, Revisiting the U.S. Supreme Court Cases. This paper is essentially about the rights of detained alleged terror suspects in Guantanamo Bay held there in the wake of 9-11. While a handful had been charged for terrorist activities, a vast majority detained had not, leading one to question whether these individuals had been tortured without ever having been involved in terrorist activities in the first place. Meanwhile, these men were detained in Cuba because it is outside U.S. territory, presumably beyond the reach of constitutional protections. This paper asks three questions. First, whether federal courts have jurisdiction to review the legality of alleged terror suspects' detention. Second, whether constitutional rights and privileges extend to non-citizens abroad. And third, whether executive power can remain legally unchecked. The U.S. Supreme Court had to deal with these questions in four important cases between 2004 and 2008. Rasul versus Bush and Hamdi versus Rumsfeld in 2004, Hamden versus Rumsfeld in 2006, and Boumediene versus Bush in 2008. What we find is that the U.S. Supreme Court had a real struggle on its hand to keep executive power in check. Twice federal statutes were passed to evade the Supreme Court decisions allowing federal court jurisdiction to hear habeas corpus cases regarding the legality of these prisoners' detention. But the Supreme Court stood firm, ruling that the U.S. Constitution applies and that the federal courts do have the authority to hear habeas corpus cases about non-citizen detainees held in Guantanamo. This article serves as a reminder that the U.S. judiciary has upheld constitutional principles and international humanitarian law to some extent, but that the U.S. government has still fallen short on its treaty obligations under the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights and the Convention Against Torture.